Good morning YouTube. This is your boy Tana Collector coming at you again with another video. And today we're headed to Peaches to the Beaches 200 mile long yard sale. Now this takes place in Georgia and it extends from around Perry, Georgia all the way down to the Golden Isles around St. Simons Island in Brunswick. So you ready to go yard selling? Let's go! Okay folks, so we're almost at 341, but before we hit up 341 to start on the Peaches to the Beaches yard sale, we're gonna stop by Mr. Cash because I always score good at Mr. Cash. So let's see what they got first. Okay, so just left Mr. Cash. And we got Toy Story 3 complete on the PS3. Killer is Dead by Xseed complete on the PS3. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1 complete on the PS3. And Bullet Witch complete on the Xbox 360. All right, folks, walking up onto the first cell. Uh, this is at a college outside of Jessup, Georgia, and there's a lot of people here. A lot of vendors. So we're going to stop by and see what we can find. Yeah. Yeah, never used it. You have any other video game stuff? Um, they're going to be peppered around. Okay. I'll keep hard. looking. Thank you, games. Pac-Man World 2. Mario Golf. Spyro. How many you want for the whole thing? Five bucks? No, I think so. Five. Make me a reasonable offer. Okay. Nine dollars. Ten. All right, I'll do that. <laughs> 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 he knows it's no child. Yeah, I'll do that. You, you know what that means. You want something? Thank you. You're welcome. No. There's a controller that goes with that. You wouldn't happen to have that, would you? No. How much you want for that? Five dollars. Ooh, what is that? It's a receiver, a wireless receiver. Hold that, we'll get... Yeah, you hold that. You be my backpack. Okay, folks. So I just left our first stop uh, along the highway 341 out here at peaches to the beaches yard sale man i got a good score for ten dollars i came across this little gamecube case in that case 
we had Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. We got Zelda, Collector's Edition. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly. Mario Golf. Door of the Explorer, Journey to the Purple Planet. Pac-Man World 2. And Luigi's Mansion. Fantastic score. Also, for three bucks, I went ahead and picked up the GameCube WaveBird wireless receiver. These are hard to come by. She just had one laying there, so I went ahead and snatched it up. All right, folks, on to the next. Okay, we're at stop number two along Highway 341 out here at Peaches to the Beaches. Let's go see what we can find. All right, folks, sorry I didn't pick this up on video. I totally forgot to turn my camera on, but I just scored this PS Vita for 40 bucks because he didn't have a charger. The Warriors on Blu-ray and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. I got the Blu-ray and the game for five bucks and the PS Vita for 40 bucks. On to the next. Okay, folks, so just pulled up on this stop along the way and we got a box full of CDs up oh. there nice pack man and no disc oh isn't that just great Maybe it's in here. All right, we got Little Mermaid 2 and SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge in an empty case. Okay, folks, so just left that uh, little yard sale there on the side of the road. I dug through a box full of CDs and I was able to come across SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge on the PlayStation and the Little Mermaid 2 on the PlayStation. Both of those were complete. And then Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness PlayStation case only. The game was missing. That's all right, she let me have that for free. I uh, picked both of these up for $1.50 each. On to the next. Okay, folks, got another stop along the way with several booths. Let's check it out. All right, folks, so uh, that place was a bust. I went through every vendor, no video games. That's all right. We got a long stretch. On to the next. All right, folks, 
stop number four. Uh, one, two, no, stop number five. Let's go check it out. How much for your cup here? 50 cents? I'll take it. They had me to catch it with a mouthful. All right, folks, so I spent a whole dollar fifty at that stop and I was able to score Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the GameCube. Missing the manual. My second copy today of Crash the Wrath of Cortex, but this complete. 50 cents each for those and 50 cents for the Super Mario Cup not bad on to the next All right, so just made another stop back here. There was a couple of yard sales. I don't know if you can see all that. But I was able to score a few games. Got Final Fantasy VIII, Greatest Hits, PlayStation. It's got disc two, three, and four in the manual. Missing disc one. But she only wanted a bug for it. I went ahead and snatched it up in case I could find the other disc later on down the road. Mortal Kombat Armageddon on the PlayStation 2. Missing the manual. Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Missing the manual. I got all three of those for three bucks. A dollar a piece. And then a dollar for Madden 25. Not the greatest score. Not like that GameCube score I had first thing this morning. On to the next. All right, we have the next stop. Let's check it out. Well, I passed on all those sports tiles you, you just saw. Uh, nothing really worth picking up. So, we're gonna continue on down the road, hit up another spot. The little yard sale on the side of the road. Check it out. All right, well, nothing there. On to the next. All right, we're at uh, another section. I'll take a look around. So I walked that whole little area. Nothing. Not the first video game. On to the next. 
we're going to have to find some like legit yard sales here because that was just vendor central right there all brand new product all right here we go Just pick these two up right here for two dollars, buck a piece. All right, so just let this little place alone away, and for a dollar, I got Lord of the Th Lord of the Rings: The Third Age on the GameCube, and Final Fantasy: The Spirits Within DVD. On to the next. All right, stopped again at this little place right here. Got some CD cases. Came across Rascal on the PlayStation. It's complete. Let's keep digging. Oh really? Okay. Well, I'm looking for stuff like this. I'm looking for old video games. I don't know how many. I think there might be some over there. Okay. I'll look. We could have ourselves a treasure trove right here. There might be all kinds of good stuff in here. All right, I'm going to start digging. Okay, so out of that lot, I ended up getting Rascal complete on the PlayStation. The Warriors, again, on DVD. This is a widescreen collection. And I got the Batman soundtrack. Not bad. On to the next. Estate sale. Never been to an estate sale before. But we're gonna check it out. God, what a day at the Peaches to the Beaches 200 mile long yard sale. It starts at Perry, Georgia, goes all the way down Highway 341 towards the Golden Isles around Brunswick, St. Simons, uh, Jekyll Island area. I had a fantastic day. Now, I made my trek about 30 miles away to access 341. Before I get on 341, I stop at one of my favorite pawn shops, go in there and pick up some scores. I'm always picking up something from this particular pawn shop because he's got really good titles. So I picked all of these up for $6 a piece. We got Killer is Dead, complete. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows part one, complete. Toy Story three, complete. All of those are on the PS3 and on the Xbox 360, we got Bullet Witch complete. So I leave the pawn shop, get on 341, and I make my first stop at the college area right outside of the city. Um, and there were a lot of people there, a lot of people set up. So I park, I start walking, and I start making my rounds. I couldn't come across anything until I came across this one lady who had this glass case uh, full of like some Atari 2600 games and like a Genesis game, a Tetris game. And then I proceeded to ask her, hey, do you have any other games? She's like, uh, yeah. And points to this case, Nintendo GameCube case. I completely overlooked it. I'm glad she pointed it out because I might have passed up on this really awesome score. Now, everything in this game case, I scored for $10. The entire case and its contents for $10. We got Zelda, the Collector's Edition. Crash Bandicoot, Wrath of Cortex. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Mario Golf. 
Spyro Enter the Dragon. Dora the Explorer. Explorer Journey to the Purple Planet. Pac-Man World 2. And the last disc I did not see until I actually got back into the vehicle because when I first opened up this case when I was standing there in front of the lady, I opened it up and this part right here was stuck to the inside of the case. And there was a game right here that I did not see. That game that I did not see, Luigi's Mansion. Fan-freaking-tastic. Awesome score for 10 bucks. Also, for $3, I picked up the Nintendo GameCube wireless WaveBird receiver. These are hard to come by. Usually you can find the controller, but they don't have the dongle. They don't have the receiver. So when I saw this, I went ahead and snatched it up. Got it for three bucks. All right, so then I leave the college and I make my way down to the next area. Start looking around, come across a table that's got a couple of games and some Blu-rays. And uh, one of the games that he had was Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 on the Xbox 360. It was complete. He had $5 on it, um, but I bundled it with the Warriors Blu-ray. Now, if you don't know anything about the Warriors, uh, it was made into a video game. Fantastic movie. Um, he had $2 on it, $5 on the game. I bundled them together, both for $5. Then, as I'm handing him the money, he was standing next to a table kind of in the back of his little area. As I'm handing him the $5, I look down, and he had this. Now, he originally had a $65 price tag on it, but I asked him if he had a charger to go with it. He said he did not. And uh, he said, shoot, just give me 40 bucks for it and it's yours. I said, well, does it work? He said, it still has power. Go ahead and turn it on. You can see that it works. So I did. I scored a PS Vita for 40 bucks. Now, this is model PCH1101, which is the 3G slash Wi-Fi model. It's in fantastic condition. You can see there's like no scratches on the screen. There's a little bit of scuffing on the back, but that's okay. It's still in really good shape. And I picked up a charger for it. So awesome score there. Did not have a Vita, so that's going into the collection. All right, so then I leave that area, drive a little further down, come across to the next spot, and we got, uh, came. well, I came to this booth and she had some cool collectible stuff there. I said, hey, do you have any old video games? She said, no, all I got are these two Nintendo GameCube games. Really? What do you think old Nintendo games means? GameCube is three generations back. So anyway, she said, no, all I got are these two games. So I look at them. I said, well, what, what, would, what do you want for them? She said, give me a dollar for both of them. So for a dollar, I got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and it was missing the manual, and I got another copy of Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex, and it was complete. Fantastic score! So I walk around and come across this lady that's selling like cups and bottles and baby stuff and all kinds of weird stuff and she had this it's a super mario water bottle it's plastic but it's really cool it's mario it's uh video game related so i snatched it up i said how much you want for it 50 cents no brainer went ahead and picked that up all right so, uh, then I leave, come to another area alongside of a ditch along the road, and um, got out, looked around, didn't see anything right offhand until I came across a cardboard box full of jewel cases. So I'm thinking, hmm, PlayStation, Dreamcast, there might be something in here. So I started digging around, and sure enough, 
I came across SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge on the PlayStation and it was complete and the Little Mermaid 2 on the PlayStation and it was complete and I came across Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness no disc so I asked her what do you want for what do you want for this and I showed her that this didn't even have a game in it so she gave this to me for free and charged me a dollar each for these so not bad there then left that area went to um, another area that had three houses door to door and they were each having a yard sale so I hit the one in the middle first and um, started digging around in another uh, Rubbermaid tote full of DVDs and jewel cases and came across Final Fantasy VIII greatest hits on the PlayStation now it had disc 4 it had disc 3 it had disc 2 and it had the manual but no disc 1 so I'm gonna have to try to find disc 1 on eBay or if any of my viewers have disc 1 and want to hook me up so I can make this complete I'd really appreciate it um, you scratch my back I'll scratch yours that's how this uh, industry works at least it works for me that way all right then I also found Mortal Kombat Armageddon no manual and Sonic Mega Collection Plus no uh, complete so not too bad there got each of these for a dollar left that area um, came down to another area that was in a park a store parking lot and I saw stacks and stacks of uh, DVD style cases and I uh, so I immediately stopped and came across Final Fantasy the spirits within DVD no insert just the just the movie if it's video game related, I'm picking it up. And then I came across Lord of the Rings, The Third Age on the GameCube. No manual. Paid a dollar for each of those. Left that area and made one last stop of the day. And <clears throat> I'm looking on like a baker's rack, uh, some type of shelving unit. Um, there were a lot of jewel cases and DVDs and movies. And I came across Rascal on the PlayStation, and it was complete. And then I walked around, found a, another box, cardboard box full of jewel cases, CDs and whatnot, and uh, found the Batman soundtrack. And it was in, the, the disc itself is in mint condition. The jewel case has a lot of scratches on it, but that's fine. I will just take this out and put it in a new jewel case, and it'll look spectacular in my Batman collection. And then I'm, I'm digging around in another box, and I come across something really cool. Now, I already picked up the Warriors on Blu-ray, but then I come across the Warriors on widescreen collection DVD. The cool thing about this is this is out of print. Anytime a DVD goes out of print, the price of that DVD goes up. So the value on this is around $18 to $25. And I picked this up for a dollar, picked this up for a dollar. And I picked this up for a dollar. So, can't beat it. I had a fantastic day at the 341, Highway 341, Peaches to the Beaches, 200 mile long yard sale. Now, um, it was today, and it's going on tomorrow, uh, Saturday. Um, but I won't be able to go. I have to go to work. But I am going to be uh, hitting up a couple of yard sales before I go to work. 
Um, so maybe I'll, I'll find something there um, that are here in the home in my hometown. All right, folks. I've got links down in the description to my eBay, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to message me and get a hold of me directly, you can hit me up on my Facebook or my Instagram. Um, also, I've got a link down in the description to the new collaboration video that I did with Reenbeam and Chase After the Right Price. So you can find the link down in the description to that. Folks, this is Tata Collector. I've had a fantastic day. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And always... Have a good 